Hi everyone, welcome back to Love Sundays. Today we're going to be heading to, what's it called? RMS Moorheim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by Liam from Odyssey Explore. I'll link his channel above. Let's go. <laughs> So for anyone that's still watching, <laughs> this is where we're heading. We're gonna try anyway. We're gonna try and get down there. <laughs> I haven't worked out how we're gonna get down there yet. But Definitely not going down there. We're not going down that way though. So some facts about, uh, what's it called? The facts about RMS Moheim. It was a German cargo ship made in Romania, which crashed on the Cornish shore in May 2003. I am saying this from memory, so the chances are I'm not right, but I think Liam's got a few more facts anyway, so. Right, well, guys, the history behind this is that I now have it crashed basically. What happened was the captain, for some reason, uh, when he was obviously sailing just outside Land's End, he actually passed out, and when he passed out, he fell on the accelerator, and by the time he came round from being obviously unconscious, it was too late and he pretty much dumped it up the rocks. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately the ship couldn't be sal uh, salvaged and it became a shipwreck. I mean, you'll see it when we get down there, th there's only half the ship still there. Um, I know previously it was something like 90 foot long and half the ship's somewhere in the ocean now, so you won't find that bit. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head down to it and uh, we'll see you down there. Right, so we've made it down the massive cliff and survived. You gotta see this, but I'm not just gonna show it to you. I'll make it as picturesque as I can. So we are on the shipwreck and you're probably not getting like a really good idea as to how wonky this is but if, you, if you've seen the film Inception it's like that you know what I mean this is probably like a, a once in a lifetime thing because probably not gonna come down here again unless the footage doesn't come out how I want it, then I probably will come back. But uh, just to give you an idea, a little walk around of the ship. It's corroded a lot in the last 17 years by the looks of it. 
Some boy. You right there, mate? <laughs> and we made it out safe. We still got to go back up that massive hill though, by the looks of it. So we just walked around to the around the bottom of the ship and I think this might be the impact point which is just here. I am really overexposed. There we go. All that pipe work. Really? Apparently, there's a pigeon up there. Can't see it though. You all right? I'm guessing those lights aren't LEDs. So as much as I've tried to sort of make this so that you can see how it is, you have to see it for yourself. If you are going to, uh, to explore this shipwreck, or windy, just make sure, make sure you've got the correct footwear on because I'm in all stars and it is very slippery. So. One thing that Liam said and it reminded me actually to mention this is if you are coming down here check the tide times before you do obviously you want to be down here at low tide and you don't want to get stuck down here so if you can just literally type in Land's End tide times it will give you the idea of when you should be down here and when you need to get out. These waves are unbelievable right so there's one coming in, so hopefully this is gonna hit the rocks and give us a nice show, which is what we like. Not bad. <laughs> I'll probably, if I stop recording now, I'll probably miss it. It's probably just like a CO2 gas canister or something, but it does look a little bit like a bomb. If you know what that is, leave a comment. <laughs> gonna end the video there, guys. Hopefully you liked this video today. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like it, leave a comment, and don't forget to check out Liam's channel as well. I'll link it in the description and I'll put a little box up the top there. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. this one? Nope.